Cleveland Browns at the Baltimore Ravens. The Browns are on the road as three and a half to four point underdogs against the Ravens. Forty five and a half is your total in this one. Brad, we have a quarterback that apparently needs to learn how to eat some vitamin C or something or get this guy (laughs) some like get this guy some echinacea or like whatever. Like, I don't know what we got to do, but can't keep Lamar Miller, uh, Lamar Jackson to say healthy. Uh, That being said, they say he's going to play this week. They said he was going to play last week, but they say he's going to play this week. Um, but and then on the Brown side of things, we know for a fact that Baker is not healthy, but he just continues to play each and every single week, no matter what they're saying that Jarvis Landry is going to play. They are not so uh, confident in Donovan Peoples Jones and Schwartz as well. So lots of weirdness going on around this one. I got to admit, guys, this one is a so far for me, a complete and utter stay away because there's so much uncertainty and so much questions still to be <laughs> answered about this one. But um, Brad, if we were trying to give people some, you know, some sort of insight here, I should also mention on the Brown side of things, it, uh, Jack Conklin and Kareem Hunt both opened their 21 day window as well coming off of IR. So they are eligible to come back this week if they look good enough in practice to to play this week. So with all these question marks, it's just very hard for me to play this game at this point in the week. Yep. Same position as you. Um, I, I would say that the Browns, that, that offensive line is intact again, so they should be able to run the ball no matter who's playing quarterback, especially with Kareem Hunt potentially adding a, a bit of juice there. So I like that matchup for them. I also like the matchup of the Browns' defensive line against these Ravens' offensive tackles. Like They're, they're still not good. Mm-hmm. Um, and They've not faced an elite pass rush in a while. So, yeah, I mean, these, this injury situation is, is a bit of a mess, but I would potentially be looking to get with the Browns plus three and a half. Stephen, um, I'm going to need a little bit more information. Brad's going to need a little bit more information, but uh, where do you see yourself maybe lying on this one? I rolled the dice to try and get the best of the number here with the Ravens. This was a look ahead line that had the Ravens minus four and a half. I thought it was an odd line move, honestly, to get it at three and a half after last week's results. And I think it was injury concern based with Lamar Jackson and Marquise Hollywood Brown. But the minute Wednesday morning, I saw that both of them were back to practice for the first practice of the week for the Ravens, I fired because I think if those guys are in healthy, then this is going to get higher than three and a half. And my confidence is basically just with how poor the Browns offense has been. I don't know if we realize this because there were so many preseason expectations on the Browns, but Cleveland has now failed to score 20 points in five of their past six games. Like, it's been bad, guys. Baker's playing hurt. He's got a PFF grade on par with Trevor Simeon at this point. They're outside the top 20 in overall EPA success rate, drop back EPA and success rate. And and surprisingly, since week six, they are 18th in rush success rate. All those numbers I just said were since week six, that stretch where they've just been failing to score 20 points with the exception of the game against the Cincinnati Bengals. So with that being said, the Ravens have struggled a little bit too in that same span since week six. They're 24th in EPA. But which offense are you more confident in to get things back on track at this point? Is it Baker Mayfield with one shoulder and a completely depleted wide receiver core, or is it Baltimore Ravens and the dynamic Lamar Jackson who ripped up this Browns team a year ago for six touchdowns and no turnovers and greater than nine yards per pass attempt in both games against a good Cleveland team a year ago. So I rolled the dice to try and get the best of the number here with the Ravens at minus three and a half. Once I saw those two key offensive pieces are back in.